Good afternoon. We're going to teach you the five S's of wine tasting today. These are very important. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to teach you the first thing you need to do is to see your wine. And to see your wine, you need to hold the glass by the stem or the base. And if you turn your glass slightly and you look right where the wine glass and the wine itself meet, that is a very important part to look at. You do not want to see any gold or brownie streaks. You don't want to see any residual in the wine, a lot of discoloration, maybe that oil to water look. If you see those things, you would want to ask your server to replace that glass of wine, or if you purchase that wine, take it back to where you bought it from, okay? The next thing we're going to do, actually, is swirl our wine, and we need to do that better from a countertop than up in the air, because I see those people scare me to death. So put your glass down, uh, good way, you're inducing air into this wine to swirl it so that we can smell our wine now. And uh, your sense of smell can pick up around 10,000 senses of aromas, but your taste buds only half a dozen. So when you swirl your wine, put your nose into the glass. Take a deep breath and see what you smell. You could smell oak, spice, fruit, flowers. There's all kind of things wines produce. Wonderful to learn. But what you're really trying to smell for if it's spoiled. Very simple way to teach yourself is when you go home, take your bottle of wine and drink it down to about an inch or two from the bottom, cork it, and just set it on your countertop. You go by every day, you smell, you sip that wine. After a few days, those aromas that do not belong in that wine will begin to appear. If you teach yourself that, I'll guarantee you're probably going to go to rest in one of these days, you'll smell spoiled wine. They do a great job of rotating their food. They don't always do a great job of rotating their wine. Now we're going to sip our wine now. We want to make sure that we take a minimum of two sips. I like to say three, because the first sip of a dry wine is always tart. So you want to fill your taste buds up, swish it around, swallow, and that second or third sip is what that wine truly tastes like. And your fifth S is savor your wine. So enjoy, and just remember, you serve the wine that you enjoy it, not what someone else tells you to.